As usual, I think I'll just go straight to the point, if that's alright with you guys. Uh, for the last, well, weeks, almost a month now actually, uh, the discussion regarding AI customization in Ghost Recon Wildlands has been escalating ever since it was confirmed that we are not getting it. Um, I think part of the outrage is because Ubisoft was very clumsy in their advertisement and several comments made it sound like where we were actually gonna get this feature that we were gonna get to design each and every one of our ghosts like you can see on the screen here that turned out to be a comment most likely referring to co-op and most likely they meant that yeah if you play for friends you every one of you can design your ghosts to your choosing and that's actually one of my arguments for AI customization. Four friends can decide that they will look similar, that they will dress for the occasion. If they're in the snowy Alps, they might have winter camo. If they're in the uh, jungle, they might go with cry jungle gear. You get my point. Uh, this video is not about discussing why. I've already made a video about why. So, the main point here is actually, do I think it's going to happen? First, we have to look at the different business models made by Ubisoft. First of all, we have the long tail option. That's games like For Honor, that's games like Rainbow Six Siege, which is the most prominent example of it actually working, and The Division. These games do not hinge on people buying the game within the first weeks. Uh, players can start playing basically within the first year, maybe even second year. And they want the player base to be steadily growing instead of steadily declining. Like in games such as Assassin's Creed or Far Cry. These are games you pick up, play for a month and then you replay a few months later or a year later like that. That's short tale for you. And those games are supposed to be the end of the investment, as it were. Uh, you don't invest more into it than you already expected, while the long tail is supposed to be supported by either people continuing purchasing the game or microtransactions, as in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, the big question is, not if Ghost Recon Wildlands is a long tail or a short tail product. I would argue that it is a short tail product. Because everything we've seen so far with the definitive goal of the end points towards a major storyline. And that is usually the hallmark of the short tail product. Uh, if you notice the Division hasn't had any expanding of the storyline at all really. Now, the second problem we need to address is, can the game engine actually do it? Uh, configuring the UI to accommodate this would most likely not be a big problem at all. But, depending on the AI customization, most people agree on that we should be able to equip gear and weapons. Fine. And... Uh, we do not know if the engine can do it. We do not know if they have already tried to implement this feature but didn't find it feasible. And uh, this is also part of the problem. However, I think they are currently investigating the matter and that's as good as an answer I'm going to get. And uh, the reason I think so is because it has been really quiet from Ubisoft about this. I mean really stonewall not talking about it at all quiet and with an open beta on the way I know they want to focus everything on the beta and uh, between the beta and the game's release there's not gonna be much time for anything but launch specific options so are we gonna see it at launch? No. Not a way in hell we're gonna see it at launch. 
However, we may see it patched in along the road, but this is far from decided. I don't even think we might see an answer about this feature this side of the game's release. We may see a comment about the feature after the game has been released. Because right now they have better things to do. They want to fix optimization. They might even want to fix stuff like uh, muscle flashes or stuff like that. And a major thing like AI customization is not something like they can shoehorn in this close to the actual release date. So we will most likely have to endure our regularly clad ghosts at the start. I don't really think this is a bad thing. I think Ghost Recon Wildlands is going to be a good game regardless. But I would have really liked to have designed my own ghost team from the bottom up. And uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. I might be able to, in the end, after a patch, after the game has been released, maybe a month, maybe when the first major expansion comes, I don't know, uh, be able to customize my teammates. But it's not a feature we will see anytime soon, and I hope to God I am wrong about that.